I have been receiving a lot of messages from my viewers and juniors that they have perfected programming, have done all the DS algo, OS, DBMS and everything required for an interview. But their only concern is they don't have any good projects to showcase in their resume. And if you take my word, projects are really important. I cannot stress more on something other than projects in your resume because it is that thing that makes you unique as a candidate from all other people. Now think about it, have you done good projects or are they just hello world projects? For those who don't know what are hello world projects, those are basically those projects that start you in that programming language like printing hello or like printing hi, that's just hello world. Or maybe your projects are just a copy paste from others project. If that's the case, that's gonna take a toll in your interview because you won't be able to answer those questions that the interviewer might ask regarding those details of that project. So today, I am going to tell you some tips and hacks for it because not everyone has the time to do large projects. But after watching this video, you will have some cool projects for your resume in the least amount of effort. That's gonna be a game changer in your interview. So let's start. But before we start this journey, why don't you click the subscribe button and show your support to this video. Also, I have added some great links of example projects for your resume in the description. Just beside it is the subscribe button that you should click soon. And we are having D2's first creator summit on 10th May. So if you are a creator or know someone, do connect him or her with us using the link in the description or send him the Google form link from the description. So let's start. So let's start with why are projects important and what tips should you keep in mind while selecting your projects for the resume. Tip number one. Firstly, it shows your selection skills because it tells the interviewer why you have chosen that project for your resume. Number two. It should showcase your development skills and technology skills because it will tell the interviewer that you are really serious about your skills and not fudging about them. Number three. Teamwork. If you can showcase that you are a team player in a project, that's a plus mind for you. Number four, handling time pressure. Because some projects require very strict time guidelines. So if you can show that in your resume, that's a great thing. Number five, is that project giving some value proposition to you and the community or is just a namesake project? That is something to be decided while choosing a project for a resume. Number six, it shows your motivation towards the profile and the coding structure that you are following. Number seven, it shows that you can learn new things and new technologies other than the college guidelines or the semester structure. Number eight, it shows your resort to finish projects, not only just start them, but take them to their final stage and deliver on something. And that's a plus point that every interviewer is looking in any candidate. And the final point, you'll have something interesting to talk about in your interview. And that's something that can drive the interview way forward and increase your chances of getting selected. Now let's talk about the four basic properties of a good coding project. Firstly, it uses a relevant skill to the real life. Second, it is complete. Third, it is interesting. And fourth, it is realistic. Not something that you are just writing off and is not possible in the real life. Now let's see how can you make your project in the least effort or least amount of time. The first step towards a good project is create a team with someone whose skills match with you or maybe complement yours. But at interviews, be honest about your contribution to the project to the interviewer. Second, you can create an app for a computer or a phone. The easiest thing to do is look at the Play Store at the current apps, analyze them and come up with cool features that you can add upon them and improve them at your own level. Use these to create new and improved apps that can provide good depth to your resume. Third step, take part in hackathons. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, but you'll meet great people, get new ideas, and at the end of those two days, you'll have a cool app with you. That's your personal app. Number four, check out some open source projects and improve upon them or contribute in them. And Employers love working on open source projects. So if you have written in your resume that you have worked on some open source projects, that's very beneficial for you. And the final step, 
since you are still in school and college, talk with your professors, talk with your teachers. They'll give some great ideas for projects and those will be unique because they have a lot of experience and they know every project that exists. So that would be a great source for you for project ideas. Because project ideas from internet can be seen by anyone, but projects that come from your teachers or professors are unique in that sense. I think there are four types of projects that can be very beneficial for your resume. First, a mathematical project that provides a mathematical expectation to, to that user or to that entity that is using that application or maybe that project. Second, an algorithmic project that provides some simple steps or a perfected recipe to some usage that will provide a great user experience and bring efficiency in someone's life. That's a project that you can work on. Third, a visualization project. It's more of analytical projects where you work upon data, find analysis and provide some insights about that data or maybe do predictions about it. So machine learning and artificial intelligence can come in. And final, a new technology project. These type of projects can be very basic because they are made on a new technology or a new framework that has just come out. And it shows your new learning skills. So it can be really basic and really easy. So do keep these types of projects in your mind while selecting your basic project or a project for your resume. Understanding what can set you apart can really help in choosing a project for your resume. And that should be the most important way that you should look upon. And best of luck everyone for applying for internships and placements. I hope this video helps you. And if you like this video, do click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content like this. And stay tuned to this channel for the Creator Summit on 10th May. That's going to be really entertaining for you. So do follow this channel for more updates. And wait till 10th May. This is me, Uman Chohan from Get Sage. Be safe, stay at home and get sage. Stay far, far, far away. Corona, stay far, far, far away. Thanks. Like this video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Get Saged.